today something came in and I'm super excited because I've been waiting on this for about a week and uh, it's here. So, um, without further ado, I bring you the package. So, I started to open it, um, cut my tape and opened this up and it was what I thought it was. And uh, so I went and grabbed the camera and uh, we'll go ahead and unbox it and see what we got. All right, so we've got the Lion Energy. We've got a Safari LT. This is a warranty item um, for one of my other LTs that I have. The one that I actually, if you've watched any of my other videos, I had one that the charger quit working on. Um, and so called him up, kind of explained what was going on, and uh, Lion was absolutely excellent to work with. I love these guys, I love their products. Um, I've had nothing but great luck with everything that I've had of theirs, with the exception of the one unit that uh, failed. And I don't fault Lion at all. That thing had been very well used and put through its paces. Um, and honestly, if, if this thing puts out half as much of that, then I think it's worth every penny that these things sell for. Um, so, this is what you get. Open it up. And it's a nice little organization here. Got the uh, plug-in cord for our AC power adapter here. Those two go together and plug into the face of the unit. Also have 12 volt car charger. Nice little setup there. Good quality shielding on it. It's all sealed up nice and it feels like high quality stuff. All right, and there she is. Cut out foam, fits perfectly around it. This is the first paper manual I've had. I downloaded the PDF, but this is the first paper one for me, so. All right, I think I'll read through that just for the fun of it. And there she is. Oh man, has that new electronic smell. It's nice and shiny, all pretty. Let's turn her on. All right, 50%. So let's go ahead and, well, first off, let's make sure everything, I mean, at first sight appears to be working. So it all seems about right. Um, Let's uh, grab a couple things and test it real quick. Just kind of gathered a simple array of random miscellaneous things here. So it's my kid's tablet. This is uh, the wife's old phone. Sometimes the kids use it. We usually use it for uh, casting to a uh, Chromecast we have. Uh, and then my laptop to test the, uh, the PD60, uh, which unfortunately, pretty charged up right now um, so we probably won't be able to pull that 60 watts but if it's pulling more than the 15 watts or so then we know that um, the PD60 uh, works because otherwise your QC3 you only have about 15 watts of, of power draw so start simple um, this thing won't really I don't think it's compatible with the QC3 anyways so um, I mean this can be a good quick test um, I figured we can test each port and just make sure this thing's nice and easy to grab and plug in. We'll just let this sit um, here while uh, we're playing with everything else. And that's usually about the peak that I see when I'm charging um, this tablet for my son. It's kind of blurry there, I apologize. But yeah, about eight watts, so that's Part of the reason why I don't think that this tablet, it's an older Samsung, uh, I don't think it's capable of taking the quick charge because it doesn't ever seem to take much more than that. So this right here is a Note 8 and it will actually tell us um, 
the, the charging time on it. But we don't necessarily need that because um, this should tell us. So while that's charging, we'll test the port directly beneath it, which is also uh, 2.4. And I've just got this plugged in to the device already. Um, so that way it's easier to hold the camera. Uh, let's see. So we are charging. Uh, of course, maybe switch that view. There we go, that's a lot clearer. And 24 minutes. Let's see. Let's see for. Uh, what do we got going on here? Oh, you know what? This thing might be charged up enough that it's not going to. Yeah, 89%. So we'll test it. I don't know that it's going to actually pull a whole lot more wattage than that anyways, just because the phone is fairly well charged. But, there we go. No, probably won't ramp up. Uh, yeah, so the phone's charged up enough that we won't see much of a difference there. But I will test it. Um, Way with some dead stuff and make sure which was actually my concern with the, the laptop um, we are just below a full charge we're at 93 percent now i've tried to kill a little bit of juice so let's go ahead and see if our pd60 actually works the way it's supposed to all right yep there we go so, everything appears to be working beautifully uh, on the output side there. Um, so, let's go ahead and test the 110 volt output. All right guys, so uh, we are now outside with my solar panels. Um, it is a bit cloudy and uh, my wife actually just got home and she informed me that um, We've got a pretty big weather advisory coming in, or a pretty big windstorm moving in. There was a weather advisory and everything. So we're gonna hurry and test this up before the storm rolls in and see what we've got. I don't expect high wattage right now with uh, um, all the cloud cover. I do expect more than one watt. So let's the rest of the way in. Okay. Um, what is going on here? I didn't think it was going to be that cloudy. So let's try this again, shall we? And so I'm having some trouble with the solar. We've got some really bad clouds coming in. So I actually have uh, my power supply here. Um, it's 24 volts constant. So we're going to um, plug that in and see what we've got here. Okay, so this is not how this is supposed to react. There we go. Okay, never mind. That was normal. Um, it just took a second to wake up. So this is, um, like I said, it's a constant 24 volt power supply. Um, and I can kind of, I can control the amperage and whatnot. So this right now is um, set to give me 140 watts at 24 volts. And so you can see there's a minor fluctuation every once in a while, but otherwise the charging is right about where we're at or where we, everything seems to be working properly on the charging on this side. So this just simulates um, 24 volt uh, with a steady current. So if you had solar and um, no issues with cloud cover, but I don't, I don't know if you can hear in the background, the wind is really starting to kick up and the clouds are moving in. Looks bright on the camera, but those clouds are actually pretty dark. So, 
I mean, real world testing. Um, I just have to probably wait for another day to actually test that feature. Uh, but let's move on to the car charger and see how she does with that. All right, so we are now in my wife's car um, and we are plugged into the cigarette lighter here. Um, and we are going to test it out. Started the car, um, cause I don't know. I know that some of these guys don't like to charge and work um, under just regular 12 volt battery voltage. Um, I've never really car charged my Lion Energy stuff before. Um, so I don't know exactly what to expect here. Um, so I figured I'd just play it safe and um, just start the car up and make sure we we're good to go and have good voltage. So let's plug it in and see what we get in the car. Looks like a nice little ramp up there, 50 watts, 48, 85 watts, all right. So that's honestly a little bit more power than I expected it to draw, but Actually, let's see, 12 volts, 10 amps. So that's actually great. That's less than 10 amps on my cigarette lighter, which I think has a 15 amp fuse, maybe 20. Um, so that should charge off the car, no problem, um, and not have any issues. So I actually really like that. I'm happy with that. Um, and I mean, you can see she's working beautifully. So. Yeah, at this point, I uh, think we are good to go. Everything seems to be working great. Um, I didn't, you know what, let's see. I was gonna say I didn't test that, but where did I put it? There it is. So our car charger for our phones. And she's lit up. So, I mean, She's lit up, she's got power. Um, I guess I can take the cord, we'll plug it into the phone. You won't be able to see this side of it, but I can, and we're charging. So yeah, cigarette lighter seems to be working. Oh yeah, it's pulling seven watts. So you can see that, I'll unplug it and you'll see that go away, yep. So yeah, everything looks to be working beautifully. All right, everybody, so uh, we are now downstairs and we are going to test the AC output side of this guy got our inverter on and uh, for anyone who has maybe watched any of my videos before um, what I was doing with my old one before the charger went out on it um, just because I am in the process of building out my solar system uh, my off-grid system and so I was just kind of playing with it. It's kind of a fun thing, it's a hobby thing. It's not the the most effective way to go about it, but kind of a proof of concept more than anything. Um, but if, just in case you haven't watched any of my other videos, I had, with my old Safari LT, I was using the AC output side here, um, and I was running uh, this guy over here. This is my mini Doge Miner for crypto mining, if you're familiar with um, Doge mining at all. So, forgive the current mess. This is um, kind of been our storage slash staging area, so the mess in the background is ever-changing while we're sorting and organizing. But, this guy is actually powered by um, a Bitmain power supply for um, an ant miner. Uh, ASIC miner and it works great it's got all of these um, outputs here for the six pin and the mini doge just takes one single six pin and goes right into it well the setup we've got going here is I have the power cord running over here into my UPS again it's a work in progress so never mind the mess this is currently plugged into the wall so, um, what I was doing was I was, during the peak of the day, unplugging my UPS um, and plugging it in 
to my Lion Energy. And we're going to hear it yell here in just a second because it lost power. And then it recognizes it has power. So now we are running on battery power from our Safari LT. She's putting out 319 watts. So this is just our unboxing test here. Um, I have every bit of expectation that this will work just as well or better um, than the old one. I have no reason to believe that this won't work as well as the old one. The old one worked pretty well. Um, I think the batteries were maybe starting to get a little tired in it um, as it would actually, the old one would actually turn off under high loads like this. It would actually turn off with anywhere from two to four bars on here while it was plugged into solar. It was pretty accurate if I wasn't plugged in and charging it, um, but if I was plugged in and charging it, it would give me two to three bars and then it would cut out. But I knew that it was gonna cut out because it would start beeping for the low voltage warning. Um, so I don't know what the correlation is, if somehow this gave it a false higher voltage in its internal system and setup, so it just thought that it was doing better. Um, but that was the old one. So this one, especially being brand new battery pack and everything like that, um, I have some pretty good hopes and expectations. Uh, the old one um, running this exact setup, uh, the UPS on the Mini Doge, I was able to pull consistently about 45 minutes on a full charge with no solar input and anywhere from an hour and a half to two hours um, depending on my, my solar input. So um, stay tuned because those tests will come through um, and I mean really this just protects that guy over there um, because when I'm testing to see uh, what it'll do, I like to test until this thing's dead. So that is um, a, a great little in-between that allows that to happen. So um, this is just kind of a quick basic test. I don't want to kill it uh, right yet because I want to charge it up before actually putting it through its pace. So I'm going to go ahead and plug this back into wall power uh, and let's go try our testing real quick or uh, our charging testing. So um, we'll test all the charging features and uh, go from there. All right guys, just wanted to show you, this is what the wife was talking about. Storm's just rolling in. And so that's why we hurried and did the solar stuff first. But now we're back inside and we've got the wall charger plugged in. We'll get it charged up and uh, go ahead and get ready to start making the rest of our videos. But for now, for, to end this video, we'll test to make sure that she's going to charge all right. Um, and that rounds out our test, our initial testing and kind of quick review. Um, so everything looks beautiful. This is the wall outlet charger plug here. She's pulling in at 51 watts. Um, so 20 volt, 3000 milliamp. So I think that's uh, around 60 watt peak. Uh, everything seems to be working well. We have no problems. Um, and it's obviously just the initial run through of everything, but I'll go ahead and put her through her paces and we can see how she does in the long run. With that, that's a basic review, and uh, we'll see you next time. Have a good one, guys.